so talk about your EP. You released it in the States. Uh, was it well accepted? Um, I think I could have, you know, promoted myself better, but I don't, you know, I play music. That's all I did. Uh -huh. um, I won a songwriting contest. Mm -hmm. So that was big. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I simply just made it to sell at different venues that I was playing at. I see. Well, you play a gig and then sell yeah. your CDs at the venue. Yeah, because people were asking for it and I didn't have like a professional recording. Did you home record? Um, it was at a home studio I see. of a producer friend. You had a producer? Yes, I uh, did. It, was it uh, Saul Simon McWilliams? Yes. So how how did you meet him? Um, I've heard of him because he went to the same school earlier than I did. So I've just heard of him and I was aware of his work with Chris Garno and um, I reached out to him and he was aware because we had mutual friends. I see. Yeah. He's a well-known producer. I could say that, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a hardworking and busy person, yeah. Mm, so uh, did you... Uh, do you feel that uh, it was the right thing for you to approach him and get his help on um, your it was, EP? Yeah, it was life-changing. I see. Yeah. Wow. Uh, how about this full-length album called Sleepless Night? Who produced this album? Um, happened to be me. I didn't plan to do that, <laughs> but it happened. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, forgive me if I sound rude, but <laughs> no. couldn't you get uh, help? <laughs> Um, I actually did get help from a lot of people. Um, I, you know, I. It was my job to start the project and finish the way that I wanted, and there were a lot of my friends helping me out. Without them, you know, it wouldn't have been possible. And I want to say that you know we all produced it. I see. Yeah. How many people? Six people. Wow. Five or six. So you share producing credit with. Yeah. Uh, Ten other people. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could never do that myself. Mm. I'm kind of greedy uh, about yeah. producing. So, uh, but yeah. I guess <clears throat> now you said that you never had it in your mind that you're gonna produce this album on your own, and Not you are all. gonna have total artistic uh, artistic control over this project. No. Yeah. Not at all. Mm. I'm. I had. A very specific idea of what I wanted my record to sound like mm -hmm. that was different from my previous two albums and um, I had a couple of friends who wanted to do the same thing with me and we just uh, packed up our car with gears and instruments and we um, went to Long Island so are you saying this was uh, produced and recorded in fact back in the States um, yeah I actually have been recording my albums in America. I see, I see. So before you do perform for us yes. some of the songs on this great album, uh, I heard you say uh, you wanted it to sound different from your pre previous two albums. Yes. Can you um, compare the two? Um, yeah, I, uh, I think that um, my songs contain a lot of emotional you know, emotions, and uh, I felt like it was getting lost in the studio when I was trying to hit those notes, you know, and somebody producing me would say, you know, can you try this and that, but mm. I just wanted to contain the initial feelings mm. that I had when I first wrote them. Mm -hmm. So I, um, this time I um, initially recorded the very basic tracks like guitars and vocals and a two-track tape recorder mm -hmm. so I couldn't you know I had to just not not make a mistake and try to be in that headspace to you know reproduce that moment 